Oh, hey, almost didn't see you there. It's me, your favorite internet friend, Steven Wang again. Today, I'll be showing you how to make your own tote bag. Totally good for storing records and books and whatever else your heart desires. And I'll be showing you how I made mine out of two pairs of old denim that I don't wear anymore. So please, make yourself at home as we're starting this next episode of Sewing with Steven. All right, let's begin. All right, thank you for joining me. Some of you might notice that I'm wearing a different shirt than I was just earlier, and that's because it's the second time I'm filming this. So hopefully this is gonna be pretty uh, concise and clear. To give a little background, I was actually supposed to make a completely different DIY. Um, I was supposed to take two pairs of denim that I didn't wear anymore and turn them into one pair in a sort of carpenter pants style. But it turns out when I tried them on, I couldn't fit into either of them anymore. <laughs> Definitely too tight. So instead, I decided to make a tote bag. But that's just as well because a tote bag is useful and it's pretty easy actually. First to start off, I'm gonna be going over all the materials that you'll need. You will need a measuring tape, fabric scissors, heavy cotton webbing for the handles, fabric, a seam ripper, and a sewing machine. You'll also need some pins. Lastly, if you have a tote bag that you like, either the design of or the size of, have that close by so you can go ahead and copy the measurements from it. So step one is going to be getting the fabric itself. So if you have some old clothes hanging around, clothes that you just don't want to wear anymore, can't fit to anymore, that are of a heavier fabric, go ahead and grab those. And then the next step, we're going to take them apart and turn them into a flat fabric. Step two, like I mentioned earlier, now that we have our clothes, we need to turn them into flat fabric. What does that mean? So when we're working on this project, we can't just be sewing clothes together. We have to go ahead and cut apart our clothes and turn them into fabric panels that we can use. For me, I went ahead and cut apart my pants, cut off the seams, and turned the legs into rectangles of fabric that look like this. And so I used these rectangles, I had multiple of them, and I sewed them all together to make one large piece of fabric. I'll also be putting a link in the description down below of the tutorial that I follow to turn my jeans into flat fabric. So step three, super easy. Now that we've cut out our fabric panels and we have them in rectangle squares, you'll be taking them and just sewing them together into one large flat panel. Step four, now that we have one large fabric panel, it's almost time for us to begin cutting it. But before we cut our fabric panel, we have to figure out the dimensions of the tote bag that we want. So if you have a reference tote, this is where you'd be grabbing it. This is the one that I used. It's uh, wide enough that I like it. And uh, I just generally enjoy the shape. Here are the measurements you're gonna wanna take. You're gonna wanna take the width. So it's this point to this point. You're going to want to take the height. So from the top to the bottom. And also what I did was I took this center to the peak. So the height from the center of the handle to the top of the handle. And that'll be helpful for figuring out how long you need your handle so it's going to be comfortable for when you put it over your shoulder that it's not right in your armpit and that you can actually access the bag when you have it around your arm. So after you get your dimensions, it's time to cut up your fabric. One of the things to remember is that the bottom of a tote bag is not sewn together. It's, a tote is really just one long piece of fabric that you sew the sides up of. So don't cut two separate pieces out from your dimensions. Take your height and double it, and then that's what you're gonna be cutting. So step five, now that you have your fabric, you're going to want to finish the edges, um, or the edges that are going to become the opening to your tote bag. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna take the fabric, fold over about half an inch, and just sew it onto itself. You should end up with something like this. The fabric rolls over itself, and there's a stitch running along the end. So we're on to step six now, where you'll be attaching the handles to your tote bag. So for this step, I'd highly recommend grabbing your pins and pinning up the sides of your tote bag so it has some shape, so it's not just flat fabric anymore. And also taking your handles and pinning them to your bag. When you have it all pinned together, you'll be able to take your bag, put it over your shoulder, and see how everything looks. And also make sure that things aren't uh, misaligned on the bag, so your handles aren't too far over to one side or to the other side. Also, this is an optional step. Um, I decided to put pockets inside of my bag. For me, I decided to rip off the back pockets and stick them onto the inside of the bag. The reason why you're gonna be checking them out at this stage is that you don't want the pocket in the handle overlapping, especially if you did a design like me where this handle goes all the way down the bag and then you also have um, extra pieces of fabric inside. 
it just might mean that your machine would struggle to go through all of those layers of fabric. So at this stage, I went, ripped off my pockets, pinned them onto the inside, and just made sure that my handles were wide enough so that my pockets could sit in between them um, because I decided to put my pockets in the center. To finish off this step, after you've sewed your pockets on, if you decided to have them, you'll just be going ahead and sewing on your strap. So I just stitched right across here to secure this part of the handle. And then I stitched all the way down the entire bag. And then when sewing, I left a little gap at the bottom, which is gonna be important for when we decide to make the bottom or the floor of our tote. So step seven, this part's pretty easy. You're just going to need to sew up the sides of your tote. The only thing to keep in mind is that you wanna do this when the bag is inside out. So we do this when the bag is inside out, sewing this, and this looks pretty rough, but um, it's okay because when we flip it right side out again, you don't see any of that extra fabric or anything. Everything should look clean. So step eight, this is the final part of the process. What you're gonna be doing here is creating a floor for your bag so it has some depth and so that it could stand up. I'm gonna be showing a separate tote bag, one that I didn't make here, um, to kind of illustrate how you're gonna be doing this. So here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to grab your tote and make sure to pop it inside out. Now that you have your tote inside out, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab your tote and put your hands on the inside. Once your hands are on the inside, you're going to want to rotate it and then kind of press out on the bottom so that there's a flat for this part of the seam. And so this flat part will become the floor of your tote. We're gonna go ahead and take this part of our tote and fold it over. We're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna sew across here. And when we sew across here, this is what's going to retain this kind of floor shape to our tote. After you've gone ahead and sewn those little triangles into the bottom of your tote, you should have a finished tote bag. You can either snip off those little triangles if they bother you, or you can leave them in there if you want. It's really up to you. If you follow all the directions in that, you should have something that looks like this. If it's anything like mine, it'll be a little rough around the edges. Certain things won't line up perfectly, um, but I think that adds to the charm of it. And you can be proud of turning something old into something new that has new meaning and a whole new purpose. All right, so that's a wrap on the video. Hopefully you found this interesting, hopefully you found this helpful, and hopefully you found this fun if you tried it out. And if you did, please leave a comment down below um, telling me how it went or with any questions that you have. And if you have any questions also, please feel free to DM me over on Instagram at Stephen Wang. Take care and I'll be seeing you all soon. Now, if you don't know what sewing with Steven is, just think about it as a bootleg with Wendy. Ow, ooh, ooh, something's my foot. That's a lot of kids screaming. Oh, shit.